happy monday morning guys okay so i'm working right now but i'm about to go on break in a minute but i just want to come on here and talk to y'all about you know mental health and how i feel is important um to just get your life together and you know understand that there's people out there who are gonna listen to you pray for you you know be there for you whenever you need them and it's okay to let them you know sometimes i be wanting to you know bottle up all my stuff and just put it on me because i don't want to be you know putting my shit on other people knowing that you know they go through the same they have their own issues you know and i just be feeling bad sometimes when I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like a burden on people, you know? And I'm trying not to get emotional about it, but um, even though I know I'm not, like, um, even though I know I'm not a burden to people, and I know that if if I'm in trouble or anything and I need them, they will be there. It's just the fact that, you know, how I feel, you know? Oh, hold on. Okay, y'all, so I'm on break now. Um, oh, I had to take a little break. Um... But yeah, so I just wanted to, I know I haven't had like a heart to heart with y'all in a minute or been like vulnerable with y'all and stuff like that in a minute. So today I just feel like, you know what, I'm going to make a video because maybe this will help somebody out there who's, you know, probably going through the same thing or needs some encouraging words. Um, just know that you're not alone. I know it may feel that way. I know that you're probably hurting. For whatever reason i know you're probably stressing or overwhelmed uh, for whatever reason but just like everybody tell me you can't change if it's if you can't change it why are you stressing about it but you know what some people are just like me like you just can't help but to stress about it even though you know nothing can change it you know and i was just like i've been you know a little overwhelmed and stuff um and I'm just be real with y'all. Um, I had a panic attack on Friday while I was working. Um, if y'all don't know, I do work from home. But, you know, I just never, you know, felt that before, you know. And it came to a shock to me. Like, when my friend was like, yeah, like, you know, you know, I was telling her how I was feeling. She's like, yeah, you had, like, a panic attack. And I've never, you know, been, I've never felt that before. And it really scared me because, like, I was like overwhelmed, I was anxious, I was, you know, emotional, I was crying, I was shaking and stuff like that, but I didn't know what it was. I just thought, you know, I was just having a really bad morning or something, but I ended up having a panic attack and I did not know. Um it really it really did scare me because like the after effects of having it was scary as well. Um like, I was very tired. Like, I was going to sleep during work. And they wouldn't let me leave because they said that they meant, like, they quote for the day for the amount of people who can, you know, voluntarily, like, leave or stuff. Even though I should have still left. But I kept it pushing or whatever. Um, and then I ended up, you know, taking... I left early on Saturday because I just felt like I could not work. Um, I was just too... I just wasn't focusing and stuff like that. And it was, it was just really bad. And like, when I woke up from like my nap, 15 minute nap or whatever, my heart was still beating real fast. And it kind of scared me because I'm like, why is my heart beating like this? You know, but I eventually calmed down and stuff like that. Um, Saturday, I had it Friday and Saturday it was like, you know, it was, I still had some effects from it. Like my body was aching and stuff like that. And I was still, you know, like, emotionally and mentally drained and stuff like that. So, I was just relaxing this weekend, um, which I can say was very much needed. Um, I'm working today because I feel, I feel better. Um, you know, I've talked about this with people. I've cried with people, you know. And I don't know why I'm, like, I'm really getting emotional just talking about it. Because it just, it just came, honestly, y'all, it just came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. I didn't even know, like, why it happened. Like, I understand, like, lately I've been having a lot of my mind, you know, with, like, moving, 
you know, trying to figure out where I'm going to go next, um, trying to find a different job, um, doing stuff for my internship, school, you know. I just have a lot on my plate right now. Like, I guess I was just thinking about it all at one time or something, and it was just too much for me to handle. And, like, that morning, I was just having such a bad morning. Like, these customers was getting on my nerves really bad. And, like, I had a couple of them out. I ain't cuss at them. But, you know, I had to set them straight because I just wasn't with the disrespect that day. And I was just, I just couldn't. And even when, like, I asked my job, like, when I couldn't leave, I even asked them, like, can I just go on emails or something? Because I just, I felt like me having you know, customer interaction or just interaction with anybody, period. It was just going to set me off. But it just didn't seem like they cared, you know? Which is one of the reasons why I'm we, I'm trying to leave my job. Um, And it's just, it was very overwhelming and stuff like that. But, you know, I talked with, like, you know, everybody told me, like, hey, stay, like, you know, the usual stuff that people tell you, like, you know, you can't do this. You can't keep worrying about this, you know. You know, stuff going to work out and stuff. Like, I under, I know that. It's just that you can tell somebody that all day, but you can't control what they can think about, you know, stuff. Like, I appreciate everybody who be, like, telling me, like, you know, you got to slow down. It's always good to hear that from somebody because that means, like, I'm just overworking myself. But, you know, like... Just them telling me, like, hey, like, you need to slow down and stuff like that. And, you know, just take a breather and stuff like that. Because sometimes, you know, you forget to just sit back and take a breather. <clears throat> and, you know, just just calm yourself down because you're so overwhelmed with everything. Or you feel like you got this many, so many things to do on your list. And so, like, for those out there who's, like, going through the same stuff as me or even worse, like, just... Keep praying to whoever you pray to. Um, if uh, right, you, I mean, you need somebody to talk to, just know I'm always there. I can, like, y'all can always talk to me if y'all need to talk to somebody. Um, if you don't want to talk to nobody, write it down somewhere, you know. Maybe, like, write it down and then burn it so that way it loses its power, you know. I believe in stuff like that. And I be wanting to do that sometimes, but, you know, I have sensitive alarms, so I just don't got time. But, like, when I move, I will be doing that probably, like, in my backyard or something. Where I'll just have, like, nights with y'all or days with y'all when I just go outside, write down things that I'm feeling or what I feel is too overwhelming at the time or what I feel is just putting too much pressure on me. Just write it down and, you know, crumble it up and then set it on fire. You know, I feel like it loses its power like that. And I feel like it'll help relieve some stress off me, you know. But right now, I've just been, you know, just calming down, you know, try to do things to relax me, listen to music, um, you know, just talking to people and stuff like that. But I really do appreciate, like, my family and you know, my friends, even though my friends, I consider my family because, you know, they're really close. We're really close and stuff like that. So they basically family too. And I hope they get through their stuff or whatever they're going through peacefully. Well, my family and friends, I don't, I wish that no harm comes to them or anybody, you know, I just wish for them to get all the blessings that they deserve, you know? And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to come on here, talk to y'all about why I've been going, you know. Like, even though it was Friday when I was having, like, doing all, having the, all that stuff, I, that whole week was just a mess. And I know me, I mean, my use is, like, on and off, you know, when I have my weeks. Some people's is continuous, and I just feel so bad because I... I couldn't imagine just having that continuously because, you know, it's just very overwhelming. And then sometimes you feel like, you know, you're alone or you feel like, you know, you're a burden. So it's like, 
I could imagine having that feeling all the time. And I know some people do. And I truly, truly, truly wish y'all so much peace. Because it's just, it's too much. It's too much. But, yeah. I'm going to pray for y'all. I love y'all. And I just wanted to make this video to let y'all know that y'all are not alone. You know, I go through this. People people in this world in general just go through this. And this world is already fucked up. So it's like, it's just a lot that you got to go through and, you know, talk about and stuff like that. It's just a lot. But I wish y'all the best on y'all mental journeys. Um, I think, like, once or twice a month... I'm going to do a mental check-in with y'all just to see how y'all are doing mentally, you know. What, and then we could talk in the comments about what you think could be better or what you what some things that you've done that helped you mentally. And I can share what I have done. Well, I already shared it. But what I have done that helped me mentally. And then we just talk in the chat or something. But, yeah, y'all, that's the end of this video. Um, I love you guys so much. And I wish y'all the best. And I love y'all.